Hi everyone, welcome to Our Clue Wargaming. Just want to do a quick video. There's been some massive uh, 30k news today. Um, I know it's been rumoured. I personally bought the rumours um, for a little while because the guy that first uh, confirmed or leak rumour confirmed that 8th was coming did mention at the time there was going to be a brand new rule set for 30k. There wasn't going to be the normal uh, expansion. It was just going to be here's your 40k, here's your 30k, they were going to be different games and it's been announced at the Warhammer Live event today that that's the case, there's going to be a 30k rule book, it's going to be based on 7th I'm ridiculously excited by this news <laughs> I can't put into words how excited I am I love the way the 7th rule set works with 30k there is a little bit of bloat, I won't deny that and there's a few things that can be streamlined but obviously now it's our own rule set I'm sure we're going to be able to do that there's rules in there that really aren't going to be used that often because it's mostly marine versus marine mechanicum and some other things as well but generally it's marine versus marine so yeah I'm just really excited um, eighth, I've been keeping up with the rumours to be honest and I think anyone that follows me on the Facebook group or anything like that will know I'm not too excited by it at the moment um, whether that's because I simply just don't play as much 40k as I used to and almost exclusively play 30k, I don't know. Um, I can understand that you know, 40k has desperately needed a reboot for a long, long time, um, let's be honest. We got into a position where we're having formation creep over and over and over again. It was getting stronger and stronger and stronger and other units were just basically not seeing the table. But my concern is that they're kind of going too hard the other way now to try and make units that never saw the table more and more popular. Um, the one that keeps popping out is almost every day they're mentioning the Gork and Morkonauts on the community page which is all well and good but it's a bit strange it's a model that no one ever used really no one ever bought and now suddenly it's like a game changing unit um, again I've had the same conversation with people don't get me wrong I mean, my background for those of you that don't know me I used to be in a uh, in sales selling um, consumer products into retailers so you know I'm fully aware of how business works of how businesses have to turn a profit of how businesses change things and I get the games that should be doing that and I think with the primaries Marines they are going to do fantastically well um, they're not my cup of tea but I can see why people like them same as the new Dreadnought that's been announced today um, I personally just think it looks a bit like a, a slightly uglier Leviathan <laughs> but you know who am I to judge? I'm not really a 40k player, I'm more of a 30k player. So, yeah, really excited we're going to have our own rules. I think it's going to be great for the 30k community. There's a lot of people who've invested a hell of a lot into this game. The books are an order of magnitude more expensive than the 40k books, so the fact that they're not going to be replaced is just great news all round, I think. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to trying it out, reading the rules, seeing what gets cut. I am hoping they do um, translate over the walkers becoming... Um, wound based and toughness based um, I'm not so sure about tanks I think while tanks probably do need a little bit of a buff I actually think uh, the armor facings and the fact that if you play tactically and you can get to the side of it or the back of it I think that's a really good idea um, but definitely I think walkers need to be changed um, but we'll see what happens when the rule book drops in well in the next few months also got the announcement of the uh, the Angelus book which I'm super excited about my Blood Angels um, you know why I like the stopgap stuff that we had from the last book. Obviously, you know deep down I want a proper full release so I can really start to play them. I can get some unique units and obviously I can get a Primark and things like that. And I dropped my phone there. I've lost my tripod, so I'm kind of having to balance this at the moment. So that would be an interesting cut. Um, yeah, uh, the stuff that the Blood Angels transfer sheet that came out today just looks phenomenal. Um, I bought the World Eaters transfer sheet from Forge World a few months back and I, I kind of really begrudged it. I was like, why am I paying this much for transfers? And anyone that's seen the Forge World transfer sheets will be able to agree. It's not until you hold them and see them you realise quite how amazing they are. These are not your kind of just standard Games Workshop waterside transfers. The detailing on them is out of this world. So yeah, um, new units, new Sikorin, um Variants all look fantastic. The plasma one looks great. The one with the huge Gatling cannon, whatever that is, looks absolutely brilliant. I'm sure I'm going to be picking up some of those. And yeah, um, I've just put a new battle report up um, yesterday, so that'll be sat there. I'm filming again in uh, the next few days. We're doing a, a battle report with a brand new Legion. We've got an Alpha Legion army that's going to start featuring on the channel more and more and more. Um, so it's going to be really exciting. To try those out see those on the channel for the first time we've got some other really interesting things coming we are going to keep featuring eighth we're going to keep talking about 40k because obviously it's a huge part of this hobby 
Um, while I'm not hugely enamoured with it, I'm going to try and uh, try and remain neutral um, and just give people, you know, honest opinions of what's in the box and what's there and what's good. So we should have an unboxing of the new Eighth Edition starter set coming up. Um, well as soon as possible basically we're just sorting out the details on it at the moment and yeah anyone wants to come and play please do um i've noticed our facebook page uh, we're, obviously where we changed it where the old page was owned by james and we had to get rid of it we've lost a lot of the people that were following us on facebook so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a link in the description below please click on it please give us a like on facebook i want to catch that back up to where it was it was at like a couple of hundred until uh, we swapped it over and now we've obviously dropped right down we're about to start again so please drop a, uh, a like on the facebook page it's a good way to get in contact with us if you want to come and play if you've got any questions about rules or the models or anything like that we use that'd be great we want to hear from you and yeah really exciting couple of months we'll see what happens let's get this new book out and uh, plenty more content to come so like subscribe keep doing all the awesome things you do check out all of our battle reports below and i'll see you soon